out, looked at historical traffic data. It says congestion will be the worst the day after Christmas on I-95. Specifically, I-95 northbound near Springfield, I-95 southbound near Fredericksburg. We posted a deeper breakdown on WUSA9.com. The Maryland State Highway Administration says avoid traffic by leaving early in the morning or after 7 p.m. The state is suspending construction closures starting at 5 a.m. on Christmas Eve. There is a major resurfacing project on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge, but a state spokesman insists to me that it will not be a problem. If you are one of the millions hitting the road, the hope is to make your trip a bit smoother. Pete Mundine, WUSA 9. Now, your WUSA 9 weather forecast, sponsored by Cox. Did you go like pluck some snow from some remote place? That, no, not remote. Yeah, no. where? Well, actually, it, it flurried in here in in the metro. We'll talk about that. Oh, but this I is pretty that. cool. And this is sort of like a a winter thunderstorm. It goes from sunshine to clouds to brief heavy snow. This is New York City. That was today. The visibility. It goes almost down to like a tenth of a mile. Now here's the deal. This is new. They actually now have snow squall warnings, which they've never done before to alert people that visibility gets really bad if you're driving. If you're well, walking, that's not great. So bad. That is great because out along I-81, we've had accidents because of low visibility with sudden snow squalls and both services taking steps to wow, uh, look at that. make people safer. That's pretty cool. Speaking of snow squalls, there are little snow squalls and snow showers pushing south. Essentially now, they're into uh, southern Maryland. They were really intense north of I-70. They kind of weakened as they moved in the northwest flow, but still some flurries out towards uh, Prince Frederick and down toward uh, Mechanicsville. So kind of cool. All right, speaking of cool, uh, really bright tomorrow, but we're talking wind chills in the single digits. So even the temps are cold. I mean, 23 to start. These are downtown temps. 27 in uh, 9 o'clock, 30 at noon, and maybe 34, maybe 34 at 3 o'clock. Some of our northern and western suburbs will not make it above freezing tomorrow. So hopefully you've had the battle with the kids and laid all the scarves and hats out. Here are the temps. Uh, Going to go up, yes, but only to 33 at 2 o'clock, 33 at 4 o'clock and falling pretty quickly tomorrow night. Good news tomorrow night, we don't have the winds. The bad news, that will allow the temps to fall very, very quickly. So if you miss this at the top of the show, wind chills five above tomorrow in Hagerstown, 11, 11 in D.C. It doesn't get much better by, you know, mid, uh, midday. It's still upper teens, low 20s. And then by 6 p.m., yeah, the winds died down, but now it's just darn cold. So temperatures in the 20s across the board. We're headed for the teens tomorrow night for lows in the burbs. Lower temps a little bit since uh, the early shows, so going to go 35 tomorrow, 42 on Friday, 44 on Saturday, 50 on Sunday. Sunday's our first full day of winter, and then 54 as we get into Monday. Mo uh, next week looks pretty mild. Not good news for a white Christmas. Here's the European model on the right and the American model on the left. There's just no snow heading our way. There's very little moisture, in fact, heading our way. We don't have a drop or a flake on the next uh, seven days, so... The kids will be able to play with their new toys outside on Christmas Day. So that, that's good news. That's a silver lining, right? So please, dress for the teens and 20s tomorrow. Weekend looks dry. Cold Saturday, chilly Sunday. And then 50s next week with sunshine. Looks really pretty nice. All right, tomorrow morning, these are straight temps. No wind chills. 19 Gaithersburg, probably 16 or 17 in Damascus. And 22 as far south as Fredericksburg. That's crazy. By 9 a.m., we're still in the 20s. And by lunchtime, no one's above freezing, so treat tomorrow like a midwinter day because it's going to be like that. 35 tomorrow, 42 on Friday, 44 on Saturday. That's still somewhere between chilly and cold, really. By the way, 11, 19, uh, the winter solstice. We're looking at uh, the beginning of winter. Chilly on Sunday for the game, then milder Monday and Tuesday. And there's Christmas Day, mild sunshine temps in the 50s. Aaron will be back with sports right after this. What makes Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi so smart? Its new advanced technology automatically optimizes data routes around network congestion. Huh? Meaning you get fast Wi-Fi. No matter how many devices you have. So say sayonara to lagging and buffering. Hey, the more devices you have, the smarter your Wi-Fi needs to be. And there's no smarter Wi-Fi than Panoramic Wi-Fi. We're all good together. Down here. We were living in that every day, breathing it in every day, every morning. We, we rained black soot on us.